Hey, you old swashbuckler. Well, fancy seeing you again. The place is going to ratchet, and you're still gallivanting around. By the way, Alvarez wants to talk to you. Yeah, I already spoke to him. Why don't you tell me what's been going on in the tavern instead? Ah, uh, you know, a few loitering louts here, a few drunken pigs there. Same old, same old. Oh yeah? Of course it fucking isn't. Take a look outside, you dimwit. That almost sounds comforting. You got something to drink for me? Sure. You know how it works. If you pay, you get whatever you want. What's new? Hey, this is Antigua. There's always something new. What do you want to know? How did you fare when the minions attacked? I was lucky. The tavern provides good protection. It won't hold forever, but we'll give them a run for their gold. But the others weren't so lucky. I haven't heard from Flynn, but hopefully he's safe in the warehouse. And as for Emmer, the Eastern Shore was the first to be overrun. I'd go check up on her, but it's too dangerous. Flynn's doing fine. Uh, glad to hear that. Guess he avoided the creatures. Unfortunately not. Running away was no longer an option for him. What? He didn't eat his legs, did they? No, he still got them. He was trapped in some kind of magical barrier. You worried me. How long has it been since your last bar fight? Hey, keep your fist down. Don't even think about it. Drunken idiots aside, we need to stick together in times like these. Here, it's on the house. Better a red nose than a black eye, I always say. Let's see what you've got. So what'll it be? Antigua is going down the fucking drain. I'm not moving a muscle. Where did you hide the good stuff? I think I might know what you're talking about. When I took ownership of this place, there was a small box sitting in a dusty corner. I never got round to opening it. As far as I'm concerned, it's yours. Enjoy. Show me your goods. No problem. Don't be a nuisance. Keep moving. We 
we're not gonna survive this. Right there, you fiend. Hold it. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ah, oh, I knew it. You're one of those horrible minions. Why are you loitering? Yes, I do indeed run this forge, and no, I do not provide any other services. Not even when times are tough. What the fuck are you talking about? All you men think alike. Nobody believes I can run the forge on my own. And? Are they right? <sighs> Since that good-for-nothing Wilson abandoned me, everything has ground to a halt. Our port is being overrun and nobody's coming to our aid. And now I have to look after this apprentice, Ansel. It's just too much for me. Why did Wilson leave? That's something I'd like to know. How could he prioritize something over me? Piss off. Go to Kalidor and join the Demon Hunters. What does he want with the Demon Hunters? Who knows? Forging cannons or one of those things men do. He'd better not be involved with some trollop. Hey, you're a seaman, aren't you? Could you give my husband a message? It's so hard to find a suitable messenger for such personal messages these days. I'd really like to know how my Wilson is doing. About Wilson. So, where on Kalidor is Wilson? I think you'd be best advised to look for him at a forge. He could be there. I'd never have guessed. Give me the message. I'll take it to Wilson. But don't crumple it up. Oh, and I won't eat it either. Now give it to me. Here it is. Have a good trip. What do I get if I deliver your message? How about a little kiss? I, uh... I'd rather not. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. Just 200 gold, then. Got anything to sell? Yes, but only when Pansel is back in the forge. And he can't get back while those damn creatures are around. Oh, God, what are you doing? Hey, you. Oh, don't frighten me like that. And who might you be? I'm Pencil. So I noticed. What are you doing here? I should actually be at the forge. Are you a smith? Not quite. I'm just the apprentice. But my master is away travelling, and I'm still learning. Why aren't you down by the forge? I'm not crazy. There are these 
disgusting creatures down there. Were your family? No. I'm talking about these shadow creatures. They killed Donovan, the gunsmith. I'm not moving an inch until they're gone. Back to the forge. The creatures are dead. Are you sure? Yes. Never mind. Take my best work. You earned it. I'll eat my hat if that thing's any good. Blacksmithing is hard, is it? Too right. I'm standing in for Uncle Wilson. He's a real master blacksmith. But when he gets back from Calador, the monsters won't dare come here. I'm practicing my metalwork while he's away. I haven't made much progress, though. Hmm, why am I not surprised? Now that those creatures are gone, are you gonna get back to work? You should see Grace about that. I'm not that good at adding up. Tell me, what are you good at, exactly? You're really mean. Your reward must be some sort of joke. What? Why? That thing is just as useless as you are. I'll tell Grace. You'd better tell me what I want to hear, or else. All right, all right. Take this gold. I wanted to use it to buy some milk. But I guess I can do without for a bit. Can you teach me how to be a smith? I can show you how to forge blades, but they might snap after a hefty whack. Right. Or nails. Would you like to know how to forge a nail? Um, no. Panzel is working again. Glad to hear it. You can take a look at my wares now, if you like. Show me your goods. I don't know anything about voodoo. I'm not an alchemist.
Let's see. The tuning fork produced a very special sound for them. A tone that accompanied their song and lulled them into a trance. One night, a thief stole the tuning fork and fled to Calador. I see. You were unconscious. The dogs, these ghastly dogs, you must... Dead dogs don't bite. You mean? They've passed away. Oh, thank you. I'd be dead now without your help. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. You look like you could use something like that. Tell me, what happened to you? When I noticed the creatures attacking the town, I tried to hide here at the Eastern Beach. But there was no way back out. I was trapped. Can't you swim? No, not very well. I would have drowned. I've accepted my fate. Even now I feel death approaching me. I don't have much time left. How can I help you? I fear it's too late for me. You're still alive? Yes, but for how much longer? Maybe there's a remedy. I know an old recipe of the Shaganumbi tribe. I don't know if it'll work, but we can try. I have some of the ingredients. The only things I'm missing are moldy bones and rotten mushrooms. You know natives of the Shaganumbi? Yes. I obtain most of my goods from them. The voodoo skills of their witches always fascinate me. Me too! And look what I've become! Ha! I... I don't quite understand. All right. The spirit wants to be silent, but the mouse is weak. And the remedy? You need moldy bones. You want me to dig up the cemetery? No, the shadow minions already did that for you. Right. Go to the cemetery west of the captain's house. Collect five moldy bones and bring them to me. Rotten mushrooms? You call that an ingredient? Voodoo potions are supposed to work, not taste nice. Right. Where can I find these delicacies? Look on the beach, near where the hellhounds attacked me. Seven rotten mushrooms should do the trick. I'll get the ingredients for you. Good. I'll go back to my house. You can find me there. A swig of rum is good for you too. I'd rather trust my own methods. Don't you have some good advice for me? Well, I think you're more interested in practical things rather than advice. Here. This amulet was always a loyal companion to me when times were hard. Maybe it's time it got a new owner.
I have killed several of the Hellhounds already. Where, exactly? Two on the beach to the east. Well done. That's it. The Hellhounds are finished. Very good, my boy. And here I was, thinking that this was the end of the town. Yeah. Would have been a pity. Precisely. And that's why we have to rebuild it. Sounds like you've got a plan. I have, but we need help. We need fresh blood. We're definitely not the only community that's fighting for survival. We have to convince the others out there to forge an alliance with us. You will not escape your fate, so enjoy your existence while you can. Soon your soul will belong to me. How about some equipment? This is all I can give you. That's all. What did you expect? We have fallen on hard times. Come on. Hmm. All right. Here's something else. But if you want more, you'll have to do more than slay a few hellhounds, all right? Sure. An alliance with Antigua, the pirates' headquarters. Why not? Weren't we the ones who saved the world from certain destruction by the Titans? Weren't we the ones who still sailed the seas until the great battle against Mara? Uh, we? What the fuck do you mean by we? Fine, true. The other guilds weren't quiescent either. Which is why it's so important that we cooperate with them. That sounds like a challenge. It is. The hardest thing will be to stay calm for the time being. We mustn't exhaust ourselves during the first skirmishes against Crow and his fleet. You are our best hope now. You speak for us all. You lead the captains of the other community's ships into our harbor. Until such time as we have assembled enough firepower to rout Crow's fleet of ghost ships. Only then will we be ready to strike back. Right. I'll convince the other captains about the alliance with Antigua. Good. And I'll prepare the town for our visitors. I hope there's lots of them and they're willing to add their firepower to the defense of the harbor. Since you're already here, you can align yourself with one of them. We would benefit from their strength. A word about the pirate alliance. Go ahead. Which factions do you think would join us? The Captain's Council is weakened. We need anyone who has a ship and can command it. And here I make no distinction between a club-swinging native or a tome-reading mage, as long as they have enough marrow in their bones to support our cause and stand up against Crow and his ghost ships. I understand. And the remedy? I have the ingredients you wanted. Thank you. I'll begin right away. I believe the potion is working. It will take a while until I'm fully recovered. Take this as a reward. Feel free to browse my wares. Can you teach me something? Sure. What do you want to know? I want to be able to brew my own potions. It's best if you stick closely to the recipe to start with. Combine the ingredients and heat the mixture. Not all potions need to be heated. Well, just stick to the recipe. That isn't too difficult. Teach me something about alchemy. You learn quickly. 
What have you got? See for yourself. What have you got? See for yourself. A word about the Pirate Alliance. Go ahead. How about you? Couldn't you also contribute a seaworthy ship? Hmm. <laughs> the last ship that was anchored here was Captain Morgan's. Morgan? You're talking about Slane's ship. Morgan was just his helmsman. Well, after Slane's demise, he seized command of the ship. Since then, he's been roaming the seas, looting and torching everything before his cannons. We need Morgan on side. He and Slane's old crew would be a great asset for the cause. Uh, you can put that idea right out of your mind. Morgan has been uncontrollable ever since he tasted blood. You wouldn't recognize him anymore. We'll see. I'm not going to dismiss such a great ship so quickly. As you wish. I'll just have to look on and see how you two wear yourselves out. Where can I find Morgan? He's out there somewhere and he'll probably find you first.
I've got some sort of soul dust here. Have you ever seen anything like it before? It's extremely valuable. You'll need it if you leave the path of humanity. You mean it can make people more human? How? Give me five portions of soul dust, and I'll be able to show you. What do you think of this place? I'm surprised that nobody has laid waste to this place. Pirates are a pitiful, lowly people fighting for survival. But if you want to sail the seas, you have to come to some arrangement with them. Tell me a little more about your forebears. The Dark Warriors of Kalador were once the custodians of peace in these parts. They faded into obscurity, but they still exist. We are under threat from the shadows, and the green fires are burning. Come on, let's go. Sure. 